Thank you for your purchase of a U-Harvest Light scale system. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up and operate U-Harvest Light. First, make sure you have read the manual and all the U-Harvest Light components are properly connected. Once you have verified that all the components are connected correctly, you can proceed to turn on the tractor. Once you get U-Harvest Light up on your virtual terminal display, please press the setup button. First, enter the gain value. The gain value will be between 0.75 and 1.75. The gain value is the rated output of the cart's load cells. This information can typically be found on a sticker on the load cell. If the gain is not known, enter a value of 1.5. I will enter 1.5. The capacity is the rated capacity of the grain cart in pounds. I will enter 72,800 for a 1,300 bushel cart. The starting calibration number for your particular grain cart can be found in the appendix of your U-Harvest light manual. This will just be a starting calibration number, so the scale will need to be calibrated. Please continue to watch and we will demonstrate how to calibrate. I will enter 40,000. The total number of load cells reflects the amount of load cells on the grain cart. I will enter 5. You can also change the scale weight intervals here. There are several different options, but the lower the number, the scale will be more sensitive, and the higher the number, the scale will filter out some of that sensitivity. I will pick 50 pound intervals. Next you can see manual load logging. U-Harvest Lite does use a sensor on the drive shaft to tell the system when you are unloading and when you stop unloading to record a load weight. If something would happen to the sensor where it does not detect the PTO is running, the manual load logging feature will allow the operator to manually tell the system when the cart is unloading and when it's done unloading in order to record the load weight until the sensor can be checked out. To enable the manual load logging feature, just place a check mark in the box. If you would like to change from pounds to kilograms, you will need to go to your virtual terminal settings and change your VT to metric. You can also calibrate the scale from the setup page. It is important to calibrate the scale as soon as possible. Please continue to watch and we will demonstrate how to calibrate the scale. Your U-Harvest light is now set up so we can proceed to operating the scale system. To start operating U-Harvest light, please click on the scale button. This is the screen most commonly used in the field during operation. In the middle of the screen is where you will find the weight in the cart. Left of the weight is where you can zero the cart out if you know the cart is completely empty and it does not show exactly zero. But this weight is not important because every time you turn the PTO on, the scale automatically zeroes itself out. Underneath the weight, you have two status bars. One is for the hitch weight and one is for the total capacity. The hitch weight is important because every grain cart has a loading procedure, which is center of the cart, right above the axle first, then the rear of the cart, and finally the front. But if the front is loaded out of sequence, the grain cart operator will be able to see this on the screen. The total capacity just shows a percentage of how much of the cart is loaded based on the capacity set during the setup procedure. Finally, at the bottom of this page, you will see the last load weight the cart unloaded. So we will simulate loading the grain cart up and unloading the grain cart. Now we have a full grain cart and we are ready to unload. When you are ready to unload, all you have to do is turn the PTO on. As soon as you turn your PTO on, the scale screen automatically switches to the unload screen. On the left side of the unload weight, you will see an auger flashing and grain coming out of the spout. It also says engaged above the grain cart auger. So it is a good practice to check this when you turn your PTO on. This ensures that the system knows that it should be recording now because we are unloading. So you can see the auger flashing and grain coming out of the spout and engaged as shown. This means you are in an unloading sequence and the system is recording. You can now go ahead and unload the grain cart. As you unload the grain cart, you will notice the weight in the unload box starts to climb as you unload more grain. 
When the truck is full and you disengage the PTO, do not move the grain cart until the PTO stops spinning and the weight is recorded. Moving too soon before the weight is recorded will make the weights inaccurate. Once you turn the PTO off, you will see the scale automatically go back to the scale page and you can see the load that you just dumped as the last load weight. As we mentioned before, it's best to calibrate the scale as soon as possible. It works best to use between three to five loads to calibrate the scale. It also works best to take the loads to a certified scale to get the best accuracy. For the demonstration, I have ran five loads. If I add up all of my five cart weight records, I come up with an average of 58,312 pounds. If I add up all my certified scale weight records, I come up with an average of 56,230 pounds. Now you can go to the setup page. You can enter the average certified weight in the certified weight box. You can enter the average grain cart weight in the load weight box. Once these two numbers are entered, you will see two numbers at the right. You will see the current cal number and you will see the calculated cal number. Right now these two numbers are different. You will need to press the big cal button in order to calibrate the system. Once you press calibrate, the calculated cal number becomes the current cal number. This means the system has changed the calibration number to make the scale accurate. It doesn't hurt to check a few more loads just to make sure the scale is accurate. Remember, grain cart scales do have a 1% error because it is a mobile scale. If you would like to calibrate your combine's yield monitor, click on the Combine Verify button. Here you are able to zero the scale out independent of the cart weight. If you would like to see some load data, you can click on the Report button. U-Harvest Lite is capable of recording the last 400 loads to give you some visibility. You are able to see weight, date, and time of the last 400 loads. Next you can click on the Diagnostics button. This menu has an important number that is needed if you ever call your dealer for troubleshooting. ECU firmware version is the most important number for troubleshooting. There are more troubleshooting tips in the operator's manual and on uharvest.net. You are now able to run uharvest Lite to its fullest capabilities.